Hi everyone, I'm Eugene. Today I want to introduce about an old world country, Croatia. So, where is Croatia? Croatia is located in the southeast of Europe. Topography. The east of Croatia is flat, which is only 0 to 500 meters above sea level. There is a north-south mountain range to the west. The closer it is to the coast, the better it becomes. History The Illyrians living in Dalmatia have grown grapevines during the Bronze Age and Iron Age, but the beginning of wine production is related to the ancient Greeks in the 5th century BC. During Middle Age, there is a group of people called Royal Wine Procurer, who is responsible for the production and procurement of wines. In 15th century, the Ottoman Turks enacted anti-alcohol laws. However, priests and monks helped to develop wine industry. In 1874, the Luxora started to appear in Europe. At this time, Croatia is still safe. In the 20th century, Croatian vines had also infested by Phloxera. This situation caused few winemaking families move to the New World, and the Croatian War of Independence in the early 1990s destroyed many vineyards and wineries again. Climate It has three different climate patterns. Croatian coast is a Mediterranean climate. Take Dubrovnik as an example. Warm and dry in summer and wet in winter. Average temperature in summer is 20 to 30 degrees. In winter, it can be as low as 2 degrees in the north and 9 degrees in the south. Eastern Croatia has two types of climate patterns. One is oceanic climate, another is continental climate. Both of them are hot and wet in summer and dry in winter. Croatia average yearly precipitation is between 800 to 1,500 milliliters. Soil The soil in a coastal area is red soil. The iron-rich soil provides structure for wines. Coastal England and southern areas is pitch and limestone, which is a gray and white soil. Continental area is black and yellow soil. Black soil is rich in minerals and yellow soil gives some characteristics to wines. Wine regions There are four wine regions in Croatia. Number one is the Livonia and Danube. Number two is Croatian uplands. Three is Tria and Kvarner. Number four is Dalmatia. Appalachian laws Basically, follow EU laws. Four main wine regions divided into 16 subregions and they have 66 appellations. ZOZP equals EPGI and ZOIP equals PDO. Classification Croatian wines are classified by quality. Stono vino means table wine. Kvaliteno vino means quality wine. Verhusko vino means premium quality wine. Let's see this wine, which I bought it from Habar Island. As you can see, it says Otok Habar Burba 2008, means this wine from this appellation, Habar Island, and its vintage is 2008. Turn a bottle. We know this wine is a premium quality wine. Grape varieties. There are more than 200 grape varieties in Croatia. The following are the top three grapes with high yields in Croatia. Rashovina is the most common variety in Croatia. Many people believe that Croatia is the origin of the variety. The main producing area is the Lavona and Danube. It has ripe fruit, apple, and pears aromas. It's fresh, sour, and mineral in wine. Sweet wine made from dried berries and long preserved ice wines are the most famous products in the local area. Malvasia Istriana. Istria is the main producing area. It's one of the successful grape varieties in Croatia. It has two styles, it can be fresh, it has a rich fruity aroma like peaches, citruses, or bananas, and rich mineral flavors. It also can be oaked with various barrels, especially acacia. When fresh Melvasia Istriana mixes with acacia flower, the aroma and palate become rich. Plavax Malay 
It used to make Croatia's highest quality red wine, especially comes from steep slopes of southern and central Dalmatia. It has black cherry, pepper, smoky, and spice flavors. Lava's Mali wines have high alcohol content and tannin, which have high aging potential. It's usually aged in oak barrels. Croatian always consume them with these. Finally, is the interesting thing that I want to share: the sea mystery. Edivo, a winery which is located in the southern Croatia, they launched a series of products in 2018 called Navi's Mysterium, which means the sea mystery. They bury young wine from made from Lavas Mali and aged in Adriatic Sea. They put glass bottled wine in a clay amphora, submerged in the sea to a depth of 18 to 25 meters for more than 700 days. Many people say that the wine has stronger structure, full body, and softer in tannins. This winery also has a special tour. They will guide customers to dive into the winery in the sea. After the tour, customers can choose their own wines as a souvenir from underwater winery. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, this is my references. This is all I have today. Hope you like it. Thank you for your listening. Bye.